Let's start with the very first thing that is genetics. We know that many researchers are working with the genes and DNAs so that they will come to know about heredity and inherited characters. Now you might be thinking that what is heredity and what is inheritance? So they are nothing but the characters which are transmitted from one generation to the next. Out of the many terminologies related to genetics, first we have to study what is genotype and what is phenotype. First we will see what is phenotype. Dear students, it is nothing but the property which can be observed externally. For example, you can see in the picture flowers are white in color. You can say that seeds are green in color and such properties that can be observed externally with your eyes are nothing but the phenotype. Let's see what is genotype. It is genetic constitution of an organism means which genes are present in an organism. Let's take the example of a tall plant whose tallness can be indicated by genotype capital T capital T as you can see in the diagram. A short plant whose genotype can be indicated as small t small t. All these concepts were described by Gregor Johann Mendel about whom we have already studied in 12th biology syllabus. Still, we will discuss about Gregor Johann Mendel later in this session. Wow, she is beautiful. And we know that beauty can be seen externally. Also, the rose in her hand, which is pink in color, can be observed externally. Hence, these are the phenotypes. But can you conclude whether she is clever or smart or intelligent? No, because it's not an observable property. Hence, it is not a phenotype. It should be determined by genotype. And that's what the phenotype and genotype is. Now let's see who was Dr. Gregor Johann Mendel? You can see the title Father of Genetics on the screen. Dr. Gregor Johann Mendel have discovered most of the basic principles of the genetics and hence known to be Father of Genetics. And his work is known as Mendelism. Dear students, Dr. Mendel have performed different experiments on a plant known as Pisum sativum that is nothing but garden pea plant. Yes, it is nothing but green peas plant. As you can see in the picture, in the seed shape, dominant character is round and wrinkle is the recessive. In seed color, yellow is dominant over green colored seed. In pod shape, inflated shape is dominant over constricted shape. In pod color, green pod is dominant over yellow pod. In flower color, purple flower is dominant over white flower. Then the next character was related to location of the flower where axial location is dominant over terminal location. And last character is plant height where tall plant is dominant 
over the dwarf plant.